keep talking, I'ma keep popping. Rocking this pip, not on robbing. Now they loving the way that I'm saucing. We superior to average, no top ten. We gon' come in and change up the topic. We playing chess, I don't check this. We moving strategic, we not moving uh, This ain't no regular. We doing numbers, I'm really ahead of ya. Ain't never heard of ya. Pull out a gang in this bitch, so you know we superior. Huh? Yeah, bitch to the average. I ain't doing nothing average. We get it poppin' like we get it poppin' like. Welcome back to the Piff Company Podcast. It's your boy, Elijah. Josh. Tay in the building. We're on episode 27 today. Oof. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oof. We got another great one for you. A banger, me. as they like to say, you know. And so, as always, guys, I like to always start this off by just appreciating every single one of you who keep on subscribing, who keep on liking, who keep on viewing this and sharing this with your friends. So, I really appreciate all the support that we've been getting. So uh, just keep on running it up. Keep on sharing. If you're new here, if this is your first time checking us out, definitely hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on another Piff Company video because we got a lot of these things coming out. And we're all, you know, we stay consistent. So, you know, come uh, stay stay with the gang. Be yeah. part of the gang. You know what I'm saying? So and like you said, the new subscribers we've been seeing, y'all. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a new subscriber... You know what I mean? Hit that like, hit a comment, tell yeah. us, let us know. Yeah, you know comment down below. Say new. Say yeah, yeah. you know, tell me that you're tell us that you're new or like, you know, where you're from or something like that. You know, comment down that's below. Like, Let's interact. Like. Let's stay social. Yeah, you know. Cool. You know, as always, we're gonna start off with, you know, what's going on first? How you guys feeling before we get into our current events? How's the week going? Man. Another blessed week, you feel me? Yeah, I feel that. I've been chilling, man. Mm-hmm. You know, it's been uh Staying, staying busy, Just staying busy. I ain't, ain't really ain't nothing too crazy going on this week for me personally. I don't know. What about you guys? How you been? No, I'm just working. Right. Really? Yeah. yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. What about you? It's starting to get that time. It's getting a little. Like it's cold in the morning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it might be cold for the day, or yeah. it's a little hot. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have me fucked up. Like <laughs> being in class sweating, bro. Like what's going on, man? <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely a, it, it's weird. It's like a weird time of the year, but it's like like it's warm but cold, but then it's like also like, you know, the climate yeah. change and stuff is like messing up our what it usually should be cuz around this time of the year, it used to be like freezing cold. Yeah. It's it's like it's chilling. It's like a it's decent outside. Yeah, it's it's, it's bad, decent. You know? So, this climate change is I don't know. It has its ups. It's mm-hmm. got its downs. But um, um, and ladies, we we got the perfect set for this time of year. You feel me? Mm. We got a couple sets left of the you know of mm. the um the women's top crop top long sleeve. You know, so it's perfect for this time of year. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm gonna yep. Plug that in there. But the things <laughs> coming. The company dot com. The piff company dot com. Yeah. Shoot, for real. Always plugging. Yeah, like you said, we got some things coming up too. So, stay but um, tuned, stay, stay tuned, tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. It's coming soon. Coming soon. Um, but yeah, man, uh, what else is going on this week? Uh, let's talk about some current events. Yeah, for uh, sure, some for things sure. that's been happening. Um, I know the NBA just officially started. Um, like you know, we're now starting into the actual season. So I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to anything like that at all. Not at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's lit. It's oh, lit. Come on, Josh. It's What's going on, brother? You gotta get into these. You know, I can't hey? watch sports for my. That's life. why I wanted to get you on this. You think it's boring? You said? <laughs> Hell yeah. Why is that? I don't know. Just I mean, bas- basketball is a little different because it's a little bit more fast paced. Yeah. yeah. But I can't sit there and watch like a whole football game. Or, I like, feel that. Or definitely not a baseball definitely game. Definitely not baseball. <laughs> yeah, I understand baseball. You know. Soccer is tough basketball. to watch. Yeah, and that's coming from a, 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 a soccer captain. I was a soccer captain. I feel that too. Sometimes it gets a little. Because you, I like, I like, you could go like 45 minutes without really anybody it. scoring the goal. Yeah. I'm like, come on, guys. Yeah. Nah, I, I think I think when it comes to, like, soccer, it's like if you play it, then it's cool to watch because you kind of, like, understand what's going on. The int- Like, yeah. the passes look amazing. The, this is nice. Oh, and you kind of get upset, like, because you're like, cross the ball. Cross the ball. Like, you see things that. Yeah. But, yeah. It, it's, it's like with a lot of things, though. It's like that if you play it, you know, you have a connection. Yeah. You understand the game. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, exactly. I feel like certain certain sports like soccer, you only watch at the World Cup. You know what I'm saying? That's when it's exciting because it's like everybody. Country versus you know country. What I mean? Like, yeah. that's when it's like, you know. Yeah. Some people only watch when it's, um, like, baseball. I only watch when it's World Series. World really, Series. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Nah, I feel that. But any, any, but NBA as a anyways NBA, but anyway, but anyways, <laughs> the NBA just started like we were just yeah. saying. And um, man, I'm gonna let y'all know right now, my team 
if y'all been watching, if y'all if y'all are subscribed and y'all know, y'all know who my team is. Y'all know who my team is. Mm. Yo, bro, start, brother. Bro, start. I mean, we're gonna start just from from uh, the 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 start of the actual season. We zero and two right now, brother. Mm. But from preseason, we're zero and eight. This is not acceptable. Like <laughs> for you guys who don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Lakers. Man, what? what What's going on? This is what I was saying earlier. It's like they got on paper, like once they get it connected, you know, that should be the the best team in the league. You feel me? But you first got to get that chemistry down, Mm. you know, without chemistry, no matter who's on that team. Yeah. So I think right now there's a lot of egos. You know, they had like a little scuffle with uh, not scuffle. It was a little, little 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 push, a little, little little push, a little, little. A little aggression, you know what I'm saying, on the sidelines with Dwight Howard and uh, AD. AD, I don't know, know what they was doing, man. Yeah, so it just tells you, like, their chemistry's not all the way there yet, you feel me? Yeah, so. I mean, they try to play, he, they try to play, say, like, yeah, you know, we're just passionate about winning, we don't want to lose, you know what yeah. I'm saying, we're just passionate about the game, and I'm like, alright, yeah, I get it. It's like, come on, what y'all doing? Like some dubs with that shit too. Like, come on, man. Exactly. Like, what is going on? But I don't know. I don't know, man. I I feel like, yeah. Like once we start meshing, once we really start clicking, understanding like how many touches everyone's gonna get on the ball, um, you know, their chemistry and stuff like that, get it meshed together. We are unstoppable. But as of right now, we've been very stoppable, and I'm not liking it. I need my team. Like at one point, so this weekend, bless you, bless you. So this weekend we played the um, we I'm on the team. Oh Lord, have mercy. (laughs) I'll tell you. Uh, oh, allergies. We we go, money. Let's put a counter on it's three. All right. <laughs> so, uh, but so yeah, this over the weekend we uh, we like I said, like I'm on the team, but um, we played um, uh, the Suns and bro, at one point we were down thirty buckets, thirty piece. They gave us a thirty piece McNugget. I'm like, yo, mm-hmm. I, it's like this is just yeah. beyond me at this point. I'm just, but I, hey, you know, we're still winning that chip, though, but right I'm now. just saying, this is a bad start. Speaking boys. of 30, though, nigga, mm. you seen Steph Curry? <laughs> that man's been going off, bro. He's always going off. Bro, you fucked with uh, Steph Curry, though, right? I remember In that. In 2K. <laughs> <laughs> Never actually seen him play. But if you're a rock with a player, I feel like you'd say Steph Curry, though. Yeah, just because, you yeah. know, when you hear a shooter, you... Think Steph Curry. Bro. Steph Curry. Yeah. Other day he had twenty five and a quarter. Bro. First, First quarter. Quarter. He was going bananas. I Yo, was like, wow. That's some guys in the league. Max like mm-hmm. career high. Career high, bro. <laughs> right. In high school, First if you were scoring twenty five, like, bro, they looking at you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Bro, he's there's another good short shooter on his team, right? Uh, Clay. Yeah. Yeah, but he's, he's uh, injured right now. Ah, yeah. uh, he, he had a bad injury, ACL, but he's dirty. Mm-hmm. He has twenty five and a quarter too. No, see Splash Brothers. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but this was definitely a great performance by him. He was just coming, literally mm-hmm. just coming out, just hitting thirty foot shots. Like what about just his brother pulling up? Hmm? Uh, Seth. Yeah, he has a brother. Yeah, he's right? nice, yeah, he's, he's, nice. uh, he's, he's on the like <laughs> Philly, right? He, he no he uh he's on he traded the, he's on the yeah 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 he is on Philly yeah he's on he's on the 76ers but he ain't shooting this stuff no he shoots he's a shooter he can yeah. shoot like Steph yeah he can shoot but Steph is different bro yeah Steph, like it's, Steph it's not, but not like <laughs> Steph like there's only like one he's nice Steph. bro you but think they'd not. be dirty if they played together if they played they like play on together, a team yeah like if uh, his brother went over to Golden State because I don't think Curry's ever gonna leave Golden State mm, I don't I know they, they play, play the same together, position you know? yeah, I don't know if it would. I mean, they're My brothers, brother, so nah, I, I, I would assume they, they would have chemistry, obviously. But they pay, they play the same position, so like they wouldn't be on the court at the same time. I don't. That'd feel be like. crazy, though. Mm. That'd be mm-hmm. crazy. But they have clay. You feel me? So yeah. Right. Exactly. That's not. They want to do that. Yeah. But. It's kind of like um, uh, like Giannis and uh, his brother uh, Tianis, Tianis or something like that. Thanis. Yeah. And something like that. Thanasis or something. Uh, they're on the same team, which is interesting. But they are completely different uh, type of players. So that that's why that makes a little bit more sense. Yeah. And there's a third one. There's a third Antetokounmpo brother. I think he's on the Clippers or something. Imagine that though. All your brothers. All three of them on the same team. That'd be crazy. I'm trying. I'm trying to see the Ball brothers on the same team. To be honest with you, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I'm I'm liking what Young Melo is doing. He's yeah. 
Young Mello is Mello, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I was one of the ones like I didn't know how he was gonna be, bro, before he got in the league, mm. and I was surprised how he, you know, he got Rookie of the Year, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, or is it? No, he's on the him. path, or he got it. Yeah, he already got it. So that's crazy. That's why mm-hmm. he's doing his thing, bro. Man, boy, he grew like crazy, bro. Six eight. Crazy. <laughs> I was like 32 the other day. He's a, Yeah, he's going nuts. I ain't going to lie. I'm looking out for him. I'm looking out for uh, John Morant this year, too. 30. Woo! I'm, I'm, I'm saying it now. This year, John Morant's going to become an all-star. Um, he sh- I mean, yeah. he's putting up the numbers. He's putting up the points. You know, He's a beast, bro. And he's a beast. From high school, he was flying. Like His, his ups is like, yeah. He, it's crazy. crazy. He's crazy with it. So... But yeah, hopefully, um, you know, hopefully my team turns this thing around, man. I, I, I can't. It, it's heartbreaking when you have a roster. Just listen to this real hmm. quick: LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook, uh, Dwight Howard, DeAndre Jordan, uh, Carmelo Anthony, <laughs> uh, what, what Rajon Rondo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like it, 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 this don't make no. I said Dwight Howard already. Dwight Howard. Well, who who else they got? Who else we got on team? Uh, Tht uh, Monk. What about the Nets? These they boys. still stacked. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, they got issues with like yeah. Kyra's not playing. Yeah, they Kyra's got, not playing. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's he, you know he's uh taking Injured? a stance on no he's taking a stance on not getting vaccinated so. Because um, New York has a mandate that all employees need to, you know, be vaccinated. Uh, vaccinated, he can't play. Yeah, so you don't want to. Yeah. But they still have, um, I don't know. Harden and um, Harden. KD. Yeah. KD. And yeah. KD. Yeah, yeah, KD. yeah, yeah they still balling. Yeah. They still balling. Uh, Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin. They, their team is stacked. Their team is still, you know, Aldridge. Aldridge coming in clutch, wow, too. I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. He's black? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yup. He's doing good? Mm. Good shit. He putting up, he putting up they, numbers. He doing, he doing what he got to do. Yeah, they got yeah. a good squad. So, <sighs> hopefully, uh, like I said, hopefully my team pulls it around so we can see them in the finals or something. But at this, point, <laughs> mm. oh, I don't know. I don't know what the C's too. You know, that's my squad. You know what I'm saying? But mm. I've, I've missed a couple. I think they're they're zero and two. I couldn't tell. So you. Honestly, I, I don't I like the Celtics. I'm anti Celtics. Like Ten years. <laughs> you what? Yes. I haven't heard anything about the Celtics in like ten years. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't. I could care less about the Celtics. Just I want to hit just, a game, bro. I would. Let's that's hit the a game. Thing. I would still go, but it's tickets like, are probably cheap. We can get it through. Nah. Let's hit a Lakers. That would be perfect. Let's hit a Lakers. Crazy, Celtics bro. versus the Lakers. That'd you don't think crazy. the Celtics games would be cheap? No. You get it ahead of time, though. Yeah, ahead of time, but they're not. It. They're not cheap. Because it's not like they're See, like, like, popular right now, are they? Mm-hmm. They yeah. still got they still got superstars on the team. Oh well, really? No, yeah, the the Celtics they're they're uh they Jason Tatum and um and um Jalen Brown. Brown. So they they you know they got they're I'm pretty sure they're all stars right or bro they're dirty but Damn, no no but are they all nasty. star but are they all stars yeah. on the nasty? they are yeah, both, both on the all star team for sure for sure yeah, so. Jalen Jalen Brown bro yeah I used to get called Jalen Brown when I had uh before the dreads bro before the dreads and he had a high top. And I had a high top, bro. Oh, okay. Everywhere I go, bro, I swear on dogs, bro. I swear to you, bro. I remember I was in Boston one time. I promise you. I was in Boston. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the little kids started running across the street, bro. Like, like three Jaylen little Brown. kids. Jalen Brown. Sign my shirt. Should have signed it. Yo, keep in mind, I'm getting out of a, like, Honda CRV. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> Jalen Brown, bro, came over with a basketball and everything. I just started. Like, bro, bro, I was like, Oh, you should have signed that shit. I should have, right? Like, <laughs> who's Kate? You gotta, yeah, in charge of in charge my of hero. 50 bucks. Yeah. Crazy. When he asked you who's Tate, you should have been like, that's my hero. <laughs> wow. <laughs> bro, I was like, yo, they really ran across a busy ass street too, bro. That's Boston, great. Right? So what'd, was, how, what'd you do? Would you, how, what'd I was you do? dying laughing. I was, just like, I was like, yo, I'm Tate Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like, no, nah, I'm not Jalen Brown. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> okay, just turned around, man. Oh, Quick. Oh, man. Damn. I broke that kid's heart, man. Hey. That's crazy right. as heck. Could have played it out, man. 
Yeah. Well, <laughs> hey, it is what it is. Um. Oh, the other thing too, guys. I saw this one last thing. Yeah. Going on this week, and it's still crazy. And we already talked about this last week, so I ain't gonna go too crazy into it. But it's mm. more so about the backlash from the Dave Chappelle uh, uh, special. So yeah. apparently, there's a bunch of employees storming out of the building, protesting the the uh, the special, saying that it's obviously transphobic. That mm. it's you know, a lot the of Netflix hate speech. building. Yes. So people wow. at Netflix are leaving the build, like they are protesting, and I'm just like. Yo, are they hiring like shit. I work for Netflix. Shit. I'm saying like like <laughs> no. they they must have some open positions or something because y'all fucked up, yeah. you know. But like it's a prime time job. But <laughs> my my question is though, like, what do you guys think? That's like, do you feel like they're taking it too far? Do you feel like it's so like, or do you feel like you know they want to get their voice heard and that's the best way to do it? Or do you feel like just the backlash in general from the special is just like. Too I think far. I think it's too much. Yeah. Yeah. He's a comedian. Yeah, yeah. you're talking about a, like he, he's supposed to touch on the stuff nobody wants to talk about. It's his job. It's literally, bro. If you don't understand comedy, the comedy shows like, bro. There's so many. Then every other, you know, what about all the other shit? You get what I'm saying? Right. So many. Even in his own thing, he was talking about other things. He wasn't, you know, he was. That was the main topic. Yeah. But he he did a couple jokes about shit in the beginning, different cultures. Like yeah. it was. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly, you know? And and that's the thing. It's like, I feel like I, I feel like we were talking about this earlier as well, but it's like, it's becoming to the point... Oh, no, I was talking about this with one of my buddies that I was saying, like, it's coming to the point where it's like, um, basically, like, you can only make a joke about something if you're in that particular group. And it's like... Yeah. Maybe like, if you're not a comedian. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, right. Maybe if you're not a comedian, maybe but, that makes more sense, right? Like, if you're just an average Joe, like, if you're at work or something like that, like, yeah, yeah, yeah maybe that. it's not appropriate to yeah. be cracking trans jokes or, or you know, homosexual jokes or, uh, or, or, or you know, different racial jokes. Maybe that's not the appropriate part, but if yeah. there's a place to do that. But if you're, like, amongst friends or amongst, um, you know, peers or even people within different groups or whatever like that, yeah, like... I feel like, man, look, these are just jokes. Like, at the end of the day, like, it's not like I'm, you know, someone is trying to really, unless they're really doing it with malicious intent to harm you or really saying death to trans or something like that. Or like death to this type. Then it's, right, that's different. That's actually trying to have harm, like, with your words. That deserves a protest, right? Right. Like, come on, dog. And, like, the shit he was saying was, like, bro. There's a lot a, of shit he was saying was valid, bro. I was, right, he was like, like, there's like, injustices on both yeah. sides. Like, you know, like, he was basically asking a question. Like, yeah. can, you know, homo- can, like, uh, gay people be um, racist, you know? or like That's exactly what point, I'm talking about. Right, yeah. you know? And his whole yeah. point was, like, really, I'm talking more about just white people in general. Like, white supremacy, he was saying. Like, he wasn't talking about, like... He, you know, and just the idea of being oppressed by someone, like, in, in the fact that people are saying he's punching down, it's like... You're you didn't hear that message though. You right, know what I'm saying? You're right. just skipping about. He said that before any other joke. You know, he started off with that. That's why I liked how I watched it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, bro, y'all just went over the part of that. You know, because when he said that, everybody in the crowd was like, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. anybody could be racist even if you're gay. You know what right. I'm saying? That's what he was saying. So it's just like, you know, um, I don't know. I just feel like, uh, you know, at the end of the day, people do have their right to protest. But right, you feel me? Um, for sure. Yeah, I think it's just a little. I think for yeah. what this is, I think to protest for Dave Chappelle's, oh, the uh, comedian, yeah, exactly. like that's Yo, a bit honestly, bro, much. Like, they, come on, they must be paying good over there at Netflix because we just came <laughs> out of a pandemic. You yeah. think I'm gonna walk out of work? <laughs> <laughs> like, shit, my, yeah. my bank account is done. They got money. Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's shit. definitely a luxury for real. They like, oh, I don't I need work to work for Netflix. I ain't never heard nobody say that. Mm-hmm. Actually, I know a guy. Yeah. But um, mm-hmm. where's it? He's based actually out of? one of my. He was one of my old roommates. Actually, he works from works for uh, Netflix. Okay. Yeah. Where's the home home headquarters based out of? You know. I would assume in Cal- like Silicon Cali, Valley. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like I all the know. new companies come out of Cali. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know exactly where the headquarters is at. But yeah, I don't know. I feel. Let us know in the comments down below if you've you know saw the uh, Dave Chappelle special. If you checked it out, let us know what you think about it. Um, if you guys have been kind of noticing some of the protests going on, do you think this is too much? Do you think this is right? Do you think it's too far? I don't know. Let's let's talk about it in the comments down For below. Sure. But um, let's move on 
to the main topic of the podcast today. Um, what everybody really came here for. Right, right, <laughs> right. You know, we're talking about some marijuana topics for the day. And uh, something that was interesting that I saw in the uh, in the industry, uh, it's always some new terpene. It's always some new, like, um, co- like concoction or some type of combination or some type of, uh, you know, new form of THC that they're finding to get yeah. people, you know, elevated. And uh, this one is called HHC. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. No? No. Yeah, me neither. Uh, <laughs> so nah. basically what it is, it's uh, it, it, it's THC, but what they do is that they convert it to hexahydrocannabinol. Mm. Okay? And what yo, they do... Out, yo, shout out to him, right? That was good pronunciation right there. You know what I'm saying? Say it one more time for the people. Oh, Lord have mercy. One more time for the people. Hexahydrocannabinol. <laughs> <laughs> Hexohydrocannabinol, yeah. um, and basically what they do is that they hi- uh, they add hydrogen to the molecules of THC to make okay, it okay. this new compound mm. HHC, um, and it's a similar I mean. process like what they do with margarine. Um, you know, they take vegetable oil, add uh, hydrogen to it to make margarine. So it's like not butter, but it's you know a different form of it. So it's not like mm. a uncommon like practice um but it's just like it's interesting that you know there's like i said just always something new coming up first it's delta eight um and you know people are now trying to ban like the government is trying to like ban that and stuff like that then they got the thco then there's the delta 10 now they got the the hhc and it's like What's next, you know? <laughs> so and we're here to tell you about it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, so yeah, bringing that info. So what is um like do you know what the pro and cons of it? Like what is, you know, what are they saying this HHC is about? You feel me? So one thing that I saw that was kind of interesting is that it says that it may elude drug tests. Mm. Now, I'm not like out here promoting 100%. this for you guys to go and just yeah. go find some HHC to go beat a drug test. That's not the point of this, mm. but that's like something that they're saying um, this may do. And also um, the main premise of it as well is just to kind of give another form of a legal um, access to cannabis. Yes, yeah. exactly. With still an effect. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, because here's the thing, like, and I was actually talking to somebody the other day and um, it was in a smoke shop. Um, the other day, and they had a whole jar of CBD. You feel me? Like a whole, whole jar, like a big one. And I'm like, yeah, that's CBD right there, right? Or just flour? Yeah, yeah flour. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, it's pretty, right? And then it starts <laughs> winking. <laughs> what? But it, not, not that pretty. <laughs> winking at the back. Yeah. But what she was saying to me is that uh, people don't know that CBD will come on a drug test. You know what I'm saying? She was mm-hmm. saying that that would pop up on the drug test. Gotcha. Uh, sometimes. So uh, th- that is a thing. You know, that's why they're highlighting that is because, you know, mm-hmm. CBD still does, you know, can come up on test and, you know. Gotcha. So I didn't know that. Well, but yeah. That, I mean, I guess that does make sense. It is still hemp at the end of the day. Yeah. You know, so I'm sure that the test that they're getting, you know, like the urine test, they're just kind of looking for that, um, that protein compound, which is going to be in. Yeah. Um, any hemp product so that's interesting so for sure yeah you know um and uh but the thing is this about the whole like it may elude drug tests is basically just stories at this point it's kind of just all anecdotal like stories you know um there's no real like scientific claim to it yet because again this is brand new it's a brand new compound uh, obviously, also cannabis is still federally illegal. It's still a Schedule One uh, drug, which is just crazy. Yeah. Let's let's so. let's get the process going, guys. Let's legalize <laughs> this thing so we can actually do tests and you know have you know scholars and you know medical um, research facilities actually do research on these things and yeah. kind of figure out what's going on. Because being yeah. that it's Schedule One means that it's no medical benefits, which we know that is. Not, not true. So if you have all these dispensaries, you know, it's about time that, like you said, they get to that point. So, yeah. But we'll be here you to know let y'all crazy? know when it does. <laughs> Heroin is a Schedule 1 drug, right? I believe it's actually Schedule 2. Yeah, wow. Okay. I was about to say because they I use believe. a lot of opium in hot Right, hospitals. right. Mm. I believe because there's some medical use to it. We know, we know it as morphine. Mm. Um, they Back in the day, they even used cocaine in hospitals, yeah. too. 
Wow. Yeah. For real? Yeah. yeah. And they still do. We know it as Novocaine for your teeth when you get, you know, uh, well, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm glad for like that because I, I don't like the dentist. I need <laughs> Novocaine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that but should yeah. be, bro. Should make your mouth numb for the day, bro. Yep. I mean, it's sick. Yep. Better than feeling that drill. Eee. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. You still feel it too. Like it's not like it's, it's a, a weird. It's sensation. a weird. I don't like. I don't like. I, I don't, like, I don't know what makes people wake up in the morning like yo. I think I want to be a dentist. Imagine right. that being in people's mouths all the time, like fucking. You know, some people got probably dirty s- teeth and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Probably see some Hot nasty breath. ass teeth. <laughs> yeah. But, Going in and gagging and shit. Yeah, I ain't no dentist. Ah, uh, cause a lot of people smoke cigarettes and shit. Yeah, and that, that shit rots your teeth. So they go to the dentist and that shit's all yellow. I'm like, yeah. I'm like yo, you gotta go see a different yeah. dentist. See this guy down the down the hall, man, that's a specialist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even I mean, shoot, even even weed breath too. And weed breath smells like doodle doo doodle doodle. Yeah, but you know, yeah. as long doodle. as you brush your teeth, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> false, you know. false. Yeah, remember the floss, people. Always floss. This is your <laughs> pip company Nellis. PSA. Your pip company PSA to always floss, guys. For real, definitely. You know, stay hydrated and always floss. And um, I think that's actually a good point to talk about. Speaking of staying hydrated, yeah. guys, I think it's about that time. Um, if you guys don't know what time I'm talking about. It's the time we've been waiting for. Yeah. It's the time that we like the most. And uh, this is called the smoke break, guys. So uh, go get your lighters. Go get some piff. Go get something to roll up. Um, you know, and uh, get an ashtray, you know. Grab a friend or two, you know. Well, let's get to it. And let's do it. Let's yeah. get to the smoke break. And uh, we're doing a little something different, but the same. We're doing another product review today, but since we already, um, and if you guys have already been checking this out, you already know that we've been doing the High Times mm-hmm. Cannabis Cup. Finished um, it last week. Yeah. Uh, what do you call the product reviews? But yes, we finished that last week. Yep. And um, so. And then, you know, the Piff Company, we officially put our, you know, our judges to the, to the you know, the contest. It yep. closed last Sunday. So um, now, like you were saying, we on the point. Yeah. We're just going to start signing up a little, yeah. a little different now. Now we're just going to do a little bit of the Piff Company product review you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah. and uh we're gonna keep it the same you're gonna keep the uh we're gonna keep the uh attributes and stuff like that the same and if you don't know what they are is five different things we might even add a little one that you like yeah. so you know you're gonna do a style. Yeah. i know i know that's what i'm talking i already know i already know what i'm saying come on my brother you know i got you but you know listen if you guys hey. don't know we like i said we are judges and so with the five official um uh, categories are is the aesthetic mm-hmm. and that's it was before just the joint alone we could add in the packaging yeah, that could be another it. little thing that we add in there you know for sure, for we'll sure. add the packaging as well see how that's looking mm-hmm. um the second one is the uh the aroma how it smells when it's in the thing just the joint itself you know or how the package smells or when it's sparked up yeah um what's the next one the taste Probability. Uh, yep Effect. so yep and then yeah, that's, that's it. it. That's it. What are we doing? Scale one to five or one to ten? Not one to ten. We'll keep one it one to ten. ten. Keep it. Keep it. Uh, keep it the same. Um, all whole. Ooh. Yeah, I want to make it some uh, half. Some yeah. Yeah, want to add some half numbers. Let's do it because yeah. there definitely be some that I like to have. There's so. some that's right on the same tier, and then yeah. there's some that's just a little bit better. So I like that. Let's mm. add in some of those halves in there. Let's do that. So do a pit so stop. What we, we got to start, man? We got the Seattle Soda, one mm. gram pre-roll, brought to you by uh, Cultivate, okay. your local dispensary. All right, all mm-hmm. right. Um, Our local dispensary. Yeah, I don't know where you guys are from. But, uh, if you're from Massachusetts, let us know. For sure. Um, case, uh, it's pretty basic. You know, it's a cool, like, pink tint to it. Yeah. Tie. yeah. I've seen better. Okay. Yeah. Well, you get that. Let you guys look at the case if you want. Yeah, we'll give that its own category: packaging. Packaging, yeah. yeah. So, um, overall, the packaging is definitely basic. Uh, it's a nice, you know, little simple pop the top. Mm. Nothing wrong with it. Mm. It looks, you know, looks clean. Looks cool. They got all your, uh, they've got all your um, warnings and stuff like that on there. Um, nice and clean and clear, uh, tested stuff. So I like that. I like that it shows all that type of stuff. 
It does it tell me if it's an indica or sativa? It does not. And that is something I would like to see on my packaging. So for that, it's losing a point. And, uh, but overall for the packaging, like I said, it's kind of basic, kind of simple. I'm gonna just give it a five middle of the road. Um, yeah, me too. Nothing too serious, nothing too crazy. Yeah. For the aesthetics of the joint, it's probably their own kind of cone because yeah, I could tell it's nice and packed, and you know, I don't really see any like f fuck ups on the mouthpiece, mm. so that tells me it's a cone. Got gotcha. you, but it got their own brand there, so yep. that's good. And that's a nice little addition. I don't like this little floppy piece though, I hate it. I'm gonna have to give it like a, a, a solid. 6.5. Mm, I like that number. 6.5. I like that number. I'm not going to lie to you, Josh. I'm kind of on board with you uh, with that exact same rating. It's cool. Nice. A nice. Uh, definitely looks like it's a, their own type of cone cone of some sort. The top is a lot of paper. There's a lot of paper yeah. at the top. I don't like that at all. Because um, when you burn it. You know, yeah. it's gonna taste like a bunch of paper. Um, it's a little not perfectly rolled all the way. You know, a little bit of bumps and bruises, which is you know whatever. But uh, overall, it's a nice looking joint. But yeah, I I, I'm, I like that number. Six point five is where I'm going with it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I don't think I put my case one in. Yes. So the packaging, uh, yeah, I'm also gonna agree with you guys at five. Nothing crazy about it. Mm -hmm. It's not popping. Um, and I don't like this either, right? You know, they could have just cut that shit off and got much better. Just kind of that shit just hanging there. <laughs> it's a lot. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm also going to... I do like... The, oh, they got the Cultivate. Okay, yep. Okay. That that gives uh, me a little something. A little bit. That's why I gave it a 0.5. <laughs> What'd you get it? 6.5. All right. I'm going to give it a 6. Give it a 6? Yeah, I like that. It says premium canvas, too. Like, that's cool. Yeah. Filter that you can read. Awesome. Nice, nice and packed right. good. We're the lighter at so we can get this aroma get in there. the aroma going in the air. See what this so, thing is smelling so, like. While you do that, it's I uh, you know searched up the strain. And it's a hybrid. Feel me? Okay. Uh, so yeah. look at that. No, hold up. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. But you see that, all that paper, guys? That's just ridiculous. Come on, man. Yeah, I feel like usually when they don't put the indica or the sativa, it's usually a hybrid. Mm, yeah. That makes sense. But uh, yeah, so what were you saying? It's a hybrid, and what else? Still put hybrid uh, on that shit see. though. <laughs> Let me read that. Hold up. Yeah, so it's 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 high on uh energizing. Uh it's a mm. great they say great flavor and aroma. Okay, okay. A focused effect you're supposed to feel. Okay. So so more of that like sativa dominant yeah. is what it sounds like. And it it's very uh the picture of the the flower is very uh Got a lot of purple in it. Oh, interesting. It looks like some fruity shit. So, mm. so. smells good. I'll tell you that. Off rip, yeah. I smell that shit strong. Yeah? Yeah. So at first, I, I smelled a lot of paper. I'm not going to lie, but that's, you know, because it was the first burn. But, um. It's starting to smell better. Yeah. So, let me see. So, what are we on? We're on smell still, right? Yep. Um, what would you guys rate it? Uh, all right, right. We're playing <laughs> a game now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for for smell, got? for smell, aroma. I didn't even uh, smell the the joint before here, really. Yeah, I kind of. I'll tell you what. Yeah, from when I smelled the now. joint a little bit, it smelled like um, it. I I, I kind I feel like I say this a lot, but it had that like maple leaf kind of smell, uh, or like that maple syrup kind of smell. Yeah. Um, that's just like on the joint, and I think again, that's just kind of from the fact that it's just been sitting a little bit. Um, so I think there's that the package I didn't get a crazy waft a smell on in the joint burning in the air right now um, I smell a little bit like I said I smell a lot of the paper at first but um I do smell a little bit of a like a sweet note um, it smells like fall to me that's that's where my head is going to it and for that purpose alone I'm giving it a 5.5 I like the smell of fall, so I'll I'll give it a nice seven. I give it a six point five. Cause you know weed's not supposed to smell like fall, but mm -hmm. I still like the smell. So. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah, and you going six point five for it? 
What does it smell like to you? Have any like distinctions to it, or is it just like? Yeah, I didn't really get the fall that you guys got. It just mm. smelled good when you sparked it. Mm. So that's why. I feel that. Are we putting these numbers now? No. Yeah, we're putting these numbers now. <laughs> we man. got it recorded, brother. <laughs> oh, right. It's not like we got to submit we it. We can edit. Some... We can edit. Yeah. You know, say, see know? it. Look at it. Well, there's nobody uh, to submit it to. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we just do for our, for our records. You know, Piff Company records. We got to know what what cultivate at the end gets. Hey, thanks for tuning in to our commercial break. Just wanted to remind y'all we're on, on Apple Music, Spotify, Google yes. Play, and anywhere yes. else you get your podcast. Yes. All right. Yes. Stay tuned for more coming yes. up next. Stay with us and go and get that, man. Come on now. Go listen up. Go and listen then, up. Yes, sir. All right. All right. So, yeah, that's how we'll wrap up that smell, how it's smelling. Uh, let's go right into the taste. So, what is it tasting like? Mm, the not, analysis. Not, I'm not liking it. Mm. Kind of like. The analysis. Tastes like earth. Like <laughs> earth. <laughs> sticks and dirt. <laughs> sticks and dirt. I was not expecting that. It just tastes like earth. <laughs> Earthy taste to it. Yeah. No, I know what you mean though. Okay, let's see. Mm. It definitely gives me like, which is about to sound crazy, but it gives me like a campfire flavor. Like it doesn't taste. <laughs> yep. Like it tastes <laughs> like burning wood. Yep, exactly burning my point. Wood. That's exactly my point. It tastes like that's burning crazy. wood. No taste like. Uh, that's exactly what it tastes like burning wood. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give this a low score. Uh, I'm thinking like a. Four point three. <laughs> I was gonna give it a four point five. <laughs> yeah, because it do taste. It just it doesn't have any like sweetness. Doesn't have any sourness. Doesn't have any like floral. Doesn't have any like like this whole joint is just giving me the image of fall in my head. Mm-hmm. Like from the smell fall to time. the taste. It is the perfect fall joint. It is fall time. So hey. But I don't like that. But it should it. taste like pumpkin spice if it, if that's the case. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> I wouldn't like that. A but, pumpkin spice joint? Yeah. Do you, you guys like that flavor? I'm not like... I'm not a big fan. I'm not like opposed to it, but it's not like what am I, I'm not going for. Like, it, I like you know? pumpkin pie. Yeah. That's or name. sweet potato pie. Yep. For I've never all my real ones pie. out there. What? I've never tried sweet potato yep. pie. Yeah. We'll, right we'll put you on. Tune in to next time on The Piff Company. Josh tries his first sweet potato pie. <laughs> Could be a Thanksgiving edition or something. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, it won't be next week. It'll be in a couple of weeks from now. Uh, I definitely feel you guys on this. Like, uh, I feel like for it to be Seattle soda sounds, like, you know, and they're saying it should taste have some great taste. Yeah, the name right. just completely you know throws you off. So I'm gonna give it a low rating of four as myself because you say soda. I'm expecting like some Coke, yeah, some Pepsi, like Mountain Dew at least. Yeah, give me. I'm thinking it sounds sweet, you know. True, true. So no, I feel that that does make sense. Yeah, that does make a lot of sense. So, so where you at it with it? So four. Is that a four? four? Yeah. So four, four point five, four point three. Y'all see what's going on. Um How's it smoking though? I like it. Not not too burnability. fast. Burnability. Yep. Yeah. Not too fast, not too slow. Well, I ain't gonna lie, there was a point where it was it's definitely burning a little bit like like you said, not too fast, not too slow, but it was like kinda pulling hard. And yeah. you can even see like on it right here, like yeah. you see like how it's like like kind of looks like it's like that suction, yeah. You know, like that yeah, vacuum kind of packed look. it too tight. Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah, tight. maybe a little bit too packed. I don't like when it's tight. Mm-hmm. But the ash is white, so it's clean at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very clean. Definitely. Very... Was that? Did you just pass me this? Yeah. Chief Keith over here, guys. That's you good, witnessed man. it in 4K. Come on, dog. Hey, but look, I'm I'm a hey, I'm a man of my work. You know what I'm saying? I'm a hey, my integrity is real. You know what I'm saying? I make the sure rotation. that you know what I'm saying. I make sure that I keep it in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but nah. In terms of the burnability, though, I will definitely give it. Um, or did we already give it? The I'll, I'll give it. No, we're doing it now. I'm tripping. Just because it's not though. token the way it should be, I'm gonna have to drop some points. Yeah. So I'm feeling like a a six point seven. We are like on point to get it right now. I was about to say six point five. Yeah, that's, okay. that's kind of where I'm at with it. 
because it's still sl- like it's still slow and it's still token it's still smoking but a yeah. little little hard to pull so yeah. 6.5 for me i'm on a six flat six flat flat i don't like when i have to pull give me a headache and shit mm-hmm. yeah. so i feel that, <laughs> I feel that. that. that pisses me off yeah <laughs> nah it's never never the wave that's never the objective when it comes to a joint so i feel that all right, so that's the burnability, and uh, we could so move up Tell right me story. into. Ooh. Tell your story. Yeah, what happened story this week? Story time. Uh, not the one about Denzel. Not that. <laughs> Y'all know that one. I think we all know that one. <laughs> and for the new subscribers, go check out, you know what I'm saying, Tay meets uh, Denzel. Yeah, Tay, Tay meets yeah. the time that Tay meet, met uh, Denzel. There's a whole Pretty video. Sure. It's its Pretty own sure. video. Go watch it. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to think what happened this week. Any crazy thing. Hmm. Nothing popping in my head right now, bro. Nothing popping in my head. You mm. guys got anything? You give me a story, yeah. Josh. <laughs> nah, I'm the, probably the most boring one. All I do is work and chill. <laughs> Man, come on, Josh. Let's see. Any crazy stories? Uh, I don't know. I ain't done nothing crazy this weekend, Taste. Okay, I ain't doing nothing crazy this weekend at all. Not at all. Not at all. But all right, I got something for you. How about this? So, Halloween's coming up. We got to go do something. We got to go get Liddy. I'm trying to go to Salem or one of these parties I sent you. Yeah, let's do it. We got to go to the party. or some shit. Nah, see, now you like to get, you like to take things too far, brother. Like, we're not going to. You got to get in the spirit of it. This is not Scooby Doo, brother. (laughs) Like, I'm not just going to go, oh, let's go check out the abandoned hospital. Like, once a year? I used to do that when I was like thirteen, like you know, like but but that's see, now you're older, much more athletic. If anything happens, you're out. See, see, the thing is, Josh was talking about a real abandoned place, guy. We're talking <laughs> about no setup, you feel me? Because you know, we talking about shit they set up, like you know, spooky world. Which those, are, those, are, cool. those are light, you know. That's like we those in are there, cool. You know? But you talking about going to something? Like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that. Thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're bugging, buddy. I'll tell you, I'm not entering. <laughs> yeah, you're bugging. Like, not that I'm not that I'm scared to do it. It's just more so the fact that I'd rather do something else. <laughs> I'm scared to do it, I'll say. I'll fuck with no ghosts. I'll fuck with no ghosts, man. <laughs> nah, I feel like it'd be... All right, look, I'll give you this. It does sound like fun, all right? And that's why I did it when I was, like, like I said, 13, 14. When it was really extra spooky and you knew you was not supposed to be doing stuff like that. Um, matter of fact, all right, I'll, tell, I'll give you a story like this. There's this one, uh, one Halloween where me and my boys, we actually go into, uh, it's, a, it's a burnt down house. So the house got hit by lightning or I don't know. I, I forgot how the house got burnt down, but it was actually one of our friend's houses. Um, and basically... Um, the whole living room, the floor in the middle was like gone, right? The whole living room floor was gone so you could see like straight to the basement. But I kind of just jumped into a crazy part. The whole thing, it was like how we had to even get in there was crazy. We had to like hop through the window on the second floor. So we had to like climb on up this like, uh, you know, like uh, like a vine thing, like how they have like the... um. It's like not a ladder, but you know what I mean? Like how would would vines like kind of grow on? So that type of thing, like a gate fence looking thing, Uh, vine things, right? So we climb up that, go to the second floor, um, hop through the window into the into the uh, uh, bathroom or whatever, and then had to like go down the stairs. But I'm telling you, that was sketchy because one is dark, super dark. We got our phone flashlights. Ain't nothing, and it's hard to see. And like I said, there's holes in the floor. The foundation is weak because it, it was on fire. Yeah. Bro, and that thing was sketchy looking as heck. Like, we opened in closets. There's, like, big old fur coats that look like just peak. Bro. Nah. Bro, it was sketchy, but. Hmm. I mean, look, that was, like I said, when I was 14. Man. I ain't about to do that. <laughs> Come on now. That just reminded me of a story. You know what I'm saying? I'll do a quick story, you know, since you asked him, Josh, you know? So I remember back in the day, uh, it was actually me and C and me. And uh, we were going, this is when we were young, you know, high school days, freshman. Uh, we pulled up to a party, bro, right? And keep in mind, we didn't have cars, so we got dropped off, you know? But when we're pulling up, 
I see a lot of people outside, so I had a feeling the party got bopped. You know, you know how the, all parties were bopped back yeah. in the day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, Christian, don't tell him to dip. Don't tell your ride to dip. And they, all right, dips, you know, out. And uh, first person they see, they're like, yeah, cops came over. You feel me? <laughs> I'm just like, fuck, you know? Like, our ride just dipped everything. Yeah. So, bro, where, this street that it was on was a long-ass dark street near, you know, the ones near the, the back roads near Ashland and shit? Okay. Near it. So we're on this, and we just start walking that way. You feel me? And when, when at the end of the street, there's a cemetery. And then there's a place like a... I don't even know what it is, it's called, bro, but there's like a big hill, and it's, and it's a building that people live at. Like, it's it's weird, bro. It's suspect, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And uh, we're walking, bro. Keep in mind, I have my new, like, five or fives, bro. Clean as a bitch, you know? Yeah. Long story short, bro, next, I'll, next thing you know, bro, we hear a loud scream, bro. Keep in mind, it's dark as shit. There's, like, no lights, <laughs> and it's right near the cemetery. A yeah. lot, like, a lady screaming, bro, like a horror. Like, mm, like a horror, <laughs> like a horror. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck does a dirty mind Josh over here, bro? I said a horror, <laughs> horror movie. You know what I'm saying? When the killers come in, type scream. <laughs> oh, uh, so we just hit the bro. I hear that. I look. I look back and see him. He's gone. <laughs> gone, bro. <laughs> Left you to die. <laughs> So I just hit the jets. I'm like, fuck. Hit the jets. Boom, 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 boom. We out, bro. We're running, running. And uh, by the time we got, like, to the main road and shit, my fucking fire red fire was busted. Basura, man. <laughs> Scratched the fuck up. It was dipping. Christian was gone. <laughs> <laughs> gone. Not, never to be seen again. <laughs> he was taken. Nah, well, nah, nah. Like, we, we caught up. But he was out. Taken I had by to the run. Bruja. Hey, what's going on? It's Tay checking in with you. Bringing you to a commercial break. Just wanted to let you know if you missed our last podcast, go check out our YouTube. Go check out our podcast page on the Pip Company website. There you're going to find all our supporting articles and everything we're speaking about. Stay tuned. Check us out. ThePipCompany.com he said no, no, <laughs> no yes. No. We need all the comments. All the haters. Yeah. If you, yo, shout out to the haters, bro. All right, but get back on track. Effects, effects. But yeah, that's a crazy story, man. Listen, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I took the cut. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, oh god. Yo, for real. <laughs> now that is crazy, though. But yeah. hey, let's keep. We, you know, we can keep the spooky vibes going. But look, guys, that's um, that's that. So let let's. We clearly must be up right now. Let's talk about the effects on this. On this joint, man. Let, let's wrap it up on the on the yeah. Piff Company review. It wasn't visually appealing, and it wasn't smoking right, but I'm high. Yeah. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a good energetic high. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It's not a body. It's does it does what it's supposed to. I feel like I'm I could be focused doing some you know doing something. So yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight. The best rating out of all categories. Uh, yeah. fact, I'm gonna give it like a nice seven point eight myself. Seven. Oh, we can do halves. Yeah, I don't forget we can do halves. Yeah, you can do. Uh, like a, you know, I'm gonna seven. keep it eight though. I mean, he he out here doing point, point I, three, yeah. point eight. <laughs> hey, we keeping it loose around here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for me, um, look, I mean, I still do want it to be a little bit stronger, but it is a nice. Um, it does exactly what it says. Keep nice, energetic, focused. Yeah. Um, yeah. For cool what it does, vibes. for sure. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a move. I'm gonna give it a move. Seven point two, since you're giving yeah, out yeah, wonky yeah. numbers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Seven point two. Yeah. <laughs> keep it, keep it hunky dory. It's smooth. It's nice though. Yeah, I'm for like for what it said it does, mm. it's good. It's not like they fucking dip that shit in wax and rolled it around a key key yeah. and stuff. No, exactly. Yeah. Well, shout out to Cultivate. Where were you at with it? You give your rating? Um, yeah, I give it an eight. Oh, you gave it an eight, a yeah. strong eight, and you gave it a what? Seven point eight. Seven point oh, a seven point eight. Yeah, yeah. seven point two. All right, yeah. bet, 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 bet. So that's yeah. it. That's yeah. how we wrapping it up. Um, I don't know what the ratings were, mm-hmm. but. Just rewind and you'll, yeah. you'll see. You you guys, if you you know made it this far, you know what's going on. We're sure. keeping it wavy. We keeping it raw for you guys. So um, yeah. yeah, that's that. That's the what is it? The cultivate. What is it called again? The Seattle soda. Seattle soda. Exactly. Exactly. But, oh, and that reminds me actually. Um, the reason why it was just uh is because that was the lowest. 
uh, I guess quality, the lowest THC wise at least um, that they ha- that they yeah. offer at Cultivate. So that was actually the low grade of Cultivate, and then. You know, I might have a little something else. We got a little something else that might be the complete opposite. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Till next time, you know what I'm saying? Stay tuned. You, know, you feel me? Comment, like, share. Yep. Watch our videos. Subscribe. Mm-hmm. Tune us. Tune in on what? Spotify, Apple. Yes. We're on all yeah. the platforms. Oh, now. yes. Mm-hmm. Every platform where you ever you listen yeah. to podcasts, go listen to us. Go search us up. The po- the Piff Company mm-hmm. podcast. We're out there. You know what I'm saying? Keep running up the Piff Run Anthem. You know what I'm saying? Anthem. We Run. had 3K. Run it. Keep Hit running. the hundred followers. So, run it as always. Till Let's next go. time, guys. Peace yes, out. sir. The Piff Company. Peace.